Over the past few weeks, I've been busy working on my 110 gallon display tank down here in my pond room. Uh, in the last video, I built the filtration system for it out of a 20 gallon tall aquarium, and that's just powered by an 800 gallon per hour pond pump. Uh, and the video before that, I built the stand out of just some, uh, you know, two by fours, a very simple stand. Uh, and I also put some lighting on it. The lighting was not very good though. So in the past few weeks, I've upgraded the lighting and I've also made the stand look really nice. And I built a nice canopy for it as well. Now the stand, what I did to make that look good was I just took some, uh, pallets that I found and cut them up and, you know, just salvage the wood, put it directly on the stand. Uh, actually in the front, I built a large removable panel. Uh, so that gives me full access to the sump for when I need to maintain it. Uh, and that just sits on some 3D printed brackets. I also 3D printed these handles on here as well. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, the canopy is just the same. I built the main frame out of some one by twos and some wood screws. Uh, and I just attached all the pallets with some finishing nails. It does have a little door in the front that I use for feeding. Uh, however, this entire thing will come off when I need to access the top of the aquarium uh, to move fish in and out because this does uh, function also as a grow out tank for this guy right here, my long nose gar, as well as my pair of Lima shovel nose catfish that are in there. Now, uh, the lighting on, I upgraded the lighting obviously and uh, I'm just using a couple 1200 lumen work lights from Menards. These are also clamp on, which is kind of nice. Uh, I'm probably gonna pick up uh, some more uh, from my other tank because they're very cheap uh, or relatively cheap. They're, I think it was 40 bucks for both of these. Uh, and as you can see, they do a really good job lighting up this large aquarium. Um, also the plants love it. As you can see this bright green growth, that's all new growth since I put this hornwort in here. Uh, now this hornwort is from the my ponds outside. Uh, and it did bring in some hitchhikers, um, but not uh, detrimental ones. I just got some pond snails in here. I also got some freshwater limpets. You can see that little white dot there. That's one. Uh, there's another one here. All the little white dots on there. Uh, and I also got some fingernail clams in here, which are a really cool species of freshwater clam that only get about an inch long. So that's kind of cool. Uh, some people consider these uh, animals nuisance, uh, a nuisance in their aquarium, but I don't really mind. Uh, they create a healthier ecosystem. You know, the clams also help filter the water and everything, uh, so that's pretty nice. Uh, and obviously the healthier ecosystem is, the healthier your fish are going to be and the happier they will be as well. Now obviously the inside of this tank looks okay for now, but I will be aquascaping it shortly. I got some, uh, I actually have some of the supplies right here. I got a pretty large piece of driftwood that'll look really cool in this aquarium. I'm figuring, or I figure I'll put it in one of these corners here, maybe in that one to kind of block the overflow, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, you know, once the fish, act I'm actually thinking about waiting a little bit uh, until these fish are able to be moved into my indoor pond. Uh, so that way I can build a nice background for this aquarium. And then, uh, you know, I have some pretty cool ideas for that. And then maybe I can build some of this driftwood into that as well. Uh, so I think I might, I'm, I may wait a little bit on that, but we'll see. I also have to, if you see that intake right there, that's for a canister filter. That's not functioning right now. I gotta take that out and everything. Uh, so there is still some work to be done on this, but for now, I think it looks really, really good. I've been sitting down here in my chair, um, enjoying this tank for, uh, you know, a few nights now, and I just watch it until the lights turn off. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a really, really nice tank. I'm really excited to, escape this thing, make it look just incredible. Uh, I think it already looks really nice. You know, we turn the lights off and the whole thing just lights up the room and it's just the fish and all the animals within this tank. And it's really, really, a really, really fun tank to watch, uh, you know, and I am really excited to finish this thing up 100%. Anyway, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, and consider subscribing. See ya.